Shalom, everyone. This is Shema O Israel. I'm Ibed Cyrus Dabi. And we're going to give a moment or two for those who are coming to come before we get started. Praise and thank the Most High for keeping us so far during the course of this week. It's truly been an interesting week in this six month to the point where it's It'll almost like make you smile, you know. Praise and thank the Most High for keeping us according to his election and purpose because I'm going to tell you, it's a lot of things going down around town. Very important for us to stay on point. Hallelujah. It's truly, truly a good thing for his children to gather, you know, one more time in his name. You know, we as uh, his children, the sheep of his pasture, constantly sung a song about there's something about that name. There is something about that name of the Most High, you know. Praise and thank the Most High for allowing us to gather, all right? Our first scripture is. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 7. It is written, Even then will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar, for my house shall be called the house of prayer for all people. Hallelujah. Our second scripture is Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. It is written, He that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer, shall be abomination. Okay? Recording started. Again, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Hallelujah. Next thing we have is the hearing of the law, Exodus chapter 20. And we're going to be reading from verse 1 through 17. It is written, And Yah spake all these words, saying, I am Yah thy Elohim, which have brought thee out of the land of Mitzrayim, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other Elohim before me. You shall not make unto thee any graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yah thy Elohim, am a jealous Elohim, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of Yah thy Elohim in vain, for Yah will not hold them guiltless that takes his name in vain. Remember the Shabbat day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Shabbat of Yah thy Elohim. In it you shall not do any work, you nor your son nor your daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days Yah made heaven and earth the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore Yah blessed the Shabbat day, and hallowed it. Honor thy Abba and thy Amma, that thy days may be long upon the land which Yah thy Elohim gives thee. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. You shall not covet thy neighbor's house. You shall not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Hallelujah. Next, we're going to have our prayer. Our prayer today was found in Psalm 123. 
Father Yah, as we kneel before your throne of mercy and grace, we glorify you and lift you up for life, health, and strength. Praise and thank you, Father, for how you kept us thus far during the course of this week, Father, and for how you just dealing with us and working with us, Father, and allowing us to be a woke, Father, and allowing us to search things out. We ask for forgiveness of sins right now, Father, and we ask, Father, that you would be with us and guide us. I ask, Father, that you would just continue to make a way out of no way, Father, for each and every one, Father, who would join us. Bless them, guide them, and keep them according to your election and purpose. We ask, Father, that you would hear us from Psalm 123 that says, Unto thee lift I up my eyes, O thou that dwells in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of Ebeds look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon Yah our Elohim until that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Yah. Have mercy upon us, for we're exceedingly filled with content. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the content of the proud. We ask, Father, that you would Comfort we your children this day, Father, and allow it to be well with our souls. We ask that you would move according to your election and purpose, Father, and transform me into an instrument of thy will and thy purpose, Father. Move according to your election and purpose in the midst of each and every one's life that joins us, Father. Show yourself kind, merciful, real, and true, Father, and bless each and every one of us. Bless us all together. And bless us all one by one as we call upon you in spirit and in truth. We ask this this day, Father, as we praise and thank you for all you're doing. We glorify you and lift you up, Father. Praise and thank you, Father, for keeping us when you didn't have to, Father. Praise and thank you, Father, for keeping our homes and our vehicles, our children, our spouses, Father, our family members and loved ones when you didn't have to. Praise and thank you, Father, for keeping us during the course of the day in the workplace, Father, where many, many, many things could have happened, Father. Father, but they did. So we praise you and thank you and glorify you and lift you up, Father. Continue, Father, to be our peace this day, Father, as we lift up our eyes unto thee, Father. Make yourself known. Make yourself uh, 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 revealed into our lives, and we'll continue to praise you, thank you, glorify you, and lift you up. We ask these and all of our blessings in your son's name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise and thank the Most High, you know. A lot of times, we as his children, we don't take time out and give him glory. We don't take a time out and give him praise. We don't take time out and give him honor. Like we read on uh, Shabbat, we we were uh, 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 in Psalm 119 on Shabbat. And in this psalm, the psalmist said that he will praise the Most High seven times. And it brings me back to my remembrance, what we were talking about, about, you know, the three times we're supposed to praise, um, pray to the Most High during the course of a day. Uh, the psalmist in Psalm, uh, what was that? Um, Psalm 57, I believe it was. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we got to continue to praise him. I, I haven't grabbed the verse yet, but the psalmist said it, and even Daniel said it in Daniel chapter 10, uh, uh, Daniel chapter 6, and the psalmist said it in Psalm 55 about praising, praying to the Most High three times a day. It's very important that we do so. It was in Psalm 55, 17, evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. Okay? Where's his children? We got to make our voices known uh, uh, on high to the most high. It's very important that we do so because a lot of times uh, 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 that old adage, uh, uh, a closed mouth, don't get fed. Yeah, it be like that for us sometimes. You know, and a lot of times because we kept our mouth closed and we did the inward prayer thing and we did the little thing that, you know, each and every one, you know, call themselves doing quietly amongst themselves. 
a lot of times the most I want to hear is outwardly, okay? A lot of the prayers we read about in uh, 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 the whole Holy Bible, they were outward prayers, okay? Check out Daniel in Daniel chapter 6, verse 10. It says, now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his Elohim as he did aforetime. A lot of times we overlook the little things, the small things that are written in this book and we discount them because man say discount them. Okay, uh, we got a lot of flack and kickback uh, when we started going live. But scripture tells me that the house of the Most High is called a house of prayer for all people. You know, um, we got a lot of flack and kickback because most of what we do is intercession. And the first intercessory prayer ever uh, recorded in Torah was by Abraham himself, the patriarch. Okay. So we got to kind of like ask ourselves, what are we saying? What are we doing? How are we moving? How are we living? And what's going on with us? Okay? We got to ask ourselves these things because in it, we got to actually make a, 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 a decision on who we're going to believe and how we're going to stand. Like today's prayer. I like today's prayer. All right? At the end of today's prayer, I like... Um, Verse 2 says, Behold, as the eyes of Ebeds look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon Yah our Elohim until that he have mercy upon us. Verse 3 says, Have mercy upon us, O Yah, have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Verse 4 says, our soul is seeding exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the content of the proud. A lot of times we as believers, his children, all right, a lot of times we make ourselves um, on the level of those that don't believe. Over here in Proverbs chapter 3, there's two particular verses I want to get at. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31 says, Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the froward is abomination to Yah, but his secret is with the righteous. Okay? Now, the psalmist in Psalm 123, verse 4 said, Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease, and with the content of the proud. Some of you all are taking verbal backlashing, verbal uh, lashes from people who seem to knock you because they don't have to struggle or they don't have to go through what you got to go through financially. My whole thing is this, all right? Keep your eyes centered and focused on the most high. We went through this on Shabbat dealing with Ezekiel chapter 8. That word abomination came up in that chapter like uh, great evils, wickedness, and abomination. Those things came up in there 12 times. So in the process of these things coming up through there 12 times, we got to ask ourselves, what are we saying? What are we doing? Who are we living for? Okay? You may not have the update uh, 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 clothes. You may not have the updated vehicle. You may not have the updated garments, the go to feast days and uh, 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 showing up gatherings within your camp and your assembly, your place of worship or whatever. Keep your eyes on the most high. Most people are only caught up with the outward appearance, okay? Uh, 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 having a form of righteousness, but they deny the ruah. So from such, turn away. Since they deny the ruah, See, the Ruach is the one that's going to put that inward witness in you, as we read about in John chapter 14, John chapter 15, and John chapter 16. All right, the Ruach is the one that's going to put the inward witness in you, that is going to allow you to be able to accept Messiah, okay? It's very important that we take a look at ourselves 
Because as we go through the course of this month, that spirit of Ira, okay, uh, 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 allowing us to be uh, 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 awakened and wakefulness, all right, trying to uh, allowing us to be awoke. That spirit of Ira is the captain for this month. We know the Ruach runs everything, all right? But the sixth captain for the sixth month was Ira, okay? The son of Ikish, the Tekoite, and then his course were 20 and 4,000. All right, we dealt with, you know, the, the captain for each month, 12 months, 12 captains. Enough said about that, all right? Anybody else past 12, they their own captain in their own month. That's how you're going to have to look at it. Because of the abominations of Israel, we got to look at these things like that. If we don't look at those things like that, where's his sheep, the sheep of his pasture will end up following man and not following the most high it's very important that we take time out and get ourselves back in tune all right this month is uh alul according to the uh uh aramaic uh elul in biblical hebrew e-l-u-l aramaic is a-l-u-l and that that meaning of that word is called searching to search all right we gotta treat this month like we looking for the uh uh levin like we getting ready to go into the Feast of Unleavened Bread. We got to get rid of those things up out of us as we talked about on Shabbat in the sixth month, all right? We got to get these things up out of us. If we call ourselves trying to go into his presence constantly with our hands lifted up and our mouths filled with praise, you got to get those things out of you. Okay, Isaiah 59 told us that his ear wasn't heavy, his hand ain't short, but our sins and our iniquity separated us from our Elohim. Okay, it's very important that we remember these things and be able to move according to his election and his purpose in the midst of all that is said and done. All right, a lot of you all are going through things, you're supposed to go through things. If you was at ease, all right, if you was at ease like those who are uh, 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 doing all the scorning and, and got all the contempt for you, if you was at ease, you wouldn't be a child of the most high. So it's very important that we take time out. We take time out and begin to apply these scriptures unto our lives. And we're going to see, like we see here, that it's a difference. In Proverbs 3, verses 31 and 32, the, the writer said, all right, I'm going to read it again to make it real plain. He said, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the froward is abomination to the most high, but his secret is with the righteous. All right, as we read on uh, uh, Shabbat, all that going on in Ezekiel 8, all that going on in Nehemiah chapter 6, all right, all in the sixth month now. Nehemiah built the wall, and he, and he was trying to build the gate and all of that, and he ain't set the gate up. But in this story in Nehemiah chapter 6, he was going through people trying to make him afraid, people lying on him. And after he said two prayers in the whole, the whole situation, you know, he knew not to trust this one and that one. He laid three of them out before the most high here. Deal with these people, all right? I'm peaceful in the land. I'm trying to not sin by being scared. I'm trying to not sin by doubting. Deal with these people, all right? Some of, uh, some of us as Israel, we got to learn to lay some people before the most high and leave them there, all right? We got to begin to put those uh, 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 uh uh, bind the sacrifice with the cords. We got to begin to 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 bind some of them people. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So if you bind all them people that's sitting around causing you all this trouble when you're trying to do the work of the Most High, leave them there. Don't reach back for them. Don't turn back around to wonder about them or nothing. And when you see or hear something happening to them. 
Don't get joyous and start overcoming. I mean, uh, 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 get joyous and start laughing and teasing them because it can easily turn around on you, okay? It's very important that we take this to heart, all right? And all that we say and all that we do. Today's chapter, I like today's chapter too, all right? We're going to get into Ezekiel 36 because it coincides with what we just read in today's prayer and what we just read in uh, 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 Isaiah, um, excuse me, uh, 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 Proverbs chapter 3, verses 31 and 32. Okay? Here it is. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 1. All right? I know some of you all uh, 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 that are with us online, you watching the, the uh, 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 thing on Facebook go in and out, in and out, in and out. Always join us on free conference as well. Because free conference, they don't bother the signal. Okay? Here we go. Ezekiel chapter 36. It says, Also, thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yah. Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yah. Thus says Yah Elohim, because the enemy have said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus says Yah Elohim, thus says Yah Elohim, because they have made you desolate, swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and are in infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yah our Elohim. Thus says Yah our Elohim to the mountains, to the hills, the rivers, the valleys, the desolate ways, and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey in derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Therefore, thus says Yah, our Elohim, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all I do mere, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for prey. Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains, to the hills, to the rivers, and the valleys, Thus says Yah Elohim, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus says Yah Elohim, I have lifted up my hand surely. The heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. But ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel for they are at hand to come. For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown. And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it. And on the city shall be inhabited, and the way shall be built. And I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your oldest states, and will do better unto you, then at your beginnings, and ye shall know that I am Yah. Yea, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people Israel, and they shall possess thee, and thou shalt be their inheritance, and you shall no more henceforth bereave them of men. Thus says Yah, Elohim, because they say unto you, Thou land devours up men, and has bereaved thy nations, Therefore thou shalt devour men no more, neither bereave thy nations any more, says Yah our Elohim. Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen any more, neither shall thou bear the reproach of the people any more, neither shall thou cause thy nations to fall any more, says Yah Elohim. Moreover, the word of Yah came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. 
Wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. And when they entered unto the heathen, whither they went, they profaned my holy name when they said to them, these are the people of Yah and are gone forth out of his land. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Wherefore, say unto the house of Israel, O house of Israel, thus says Yah our Elohim, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am Yah, says Yah Elohim, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your Abbas, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your Elohim. I will also save you from all your uncleannesses. I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine on you. I will multiply the fruit of the tree, the increase of the field, that you shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall remember, ye shall remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good, and shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. They were that word again. Not for your sakes do I this, says Yah Elohim. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Thus says Yah Elohim, in the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the waste shall be built, and the desolate land shall be tilled, whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that passed by. And they shall say, this land that was desolate is become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fixed and are inhabited. Then the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I, Yah, build the ruined places and plant that that was desolate. I, Yah, have spoken it, and I will do it. Thus says Yah Elohim, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. I will increase them with men like a flock, as the flock. As, as the as the holy flock, as the flock of Jerusalem in her solemn feasts, so shall the waste cities be filled with flocks of men, and they shall know that I am Yah. Hallelujah. As we look at this, it's a prophecy. The Most High spewed to Ezekiel. All right. It's a prophecy he gave to him, told him, if I had one of them red letter editions from Genesis to Revelation, this one would definitely be in red, all right? No questions about it, hands down, nothing, you know, no ifs, ands, buts about it. This is the Most High talking, all right? But again, the Most High is dealing with Israel because verses 1 through 5 shows us some things. It says, also, thou son of man, prophesy in the mountains of Israel, and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yah, hear the word of Yah. Thus says, Yah Elohim, because the enemy have, have said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Therefore prophesy, thus says Yah Elohim, because they have 
made you desolate, swallowed you up on every side, that ye may be a possession unto the residue of the heathen. You are taken up in the lips of talkers. You are in uh, infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yah, that says Yah Elohim to the mountains, hills, rivers, and valleys, to the desolate wastes, to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey in derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Therefore, thus says Yah Elohim, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all I do mere which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart and with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. Prophesy concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains, hills, rivers, and valleys, mountains, rivers, hills, and valleys, thus says Yah, behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. A lot of us in Israel, we borne the shame of the heathen. All right, we read it today. Uh, Proverbs 3, 31 and 32. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. We got a choice today not to choose the ways of the heathen, the oppressor, okay? We got a way out, okay? We don't have to follow them, okay? It says in verse 7, thus says Yah Elohim, I have lifted up my hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. All right, because we have borne the shame of the heathen, the Most High wanted us consecrated, set apart for a purpose. But now, nah, what do we do? Every time we go into captivity somewhere, we bring a little piece, a little piece, a little piece of Egypt with us, a little piece of Babylon, a little piece of Persia, a little piece of the Pharaoh seas and the Sadducees and the anti Messiahs and anything else. We bring anything out of the, the place of captivity but righteousness, but obedience, but truthfulness. Because truth tell it, if Israel was doing what they were supposed to do, this, this chapter wouldn't read the way it reads. We have verse 7. Thus says Yah Elohim, I have lifted up my hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. But ye, O mountains of Israel, Ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel, for they are at hand to come. Now, the Most High is telling Israel, all right? He telling Israel flat out, straight out like this. Look, all right? Y'all did all of this. I'm getting ready to save you. I'm getting ready to redeem you. But this was going to go on. I got more people coming into Israel, from Israel, of Israel, and in the process of them coming, okay, them coming back, uh, 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 me coming to deal with you and save you, but I'm going to bless you to the point, whereas those others of Israel you know nothing about, they're on their way too, and you're going to yield your blessing to them, okay? It goes on to say, uh, in 8, ye, oh, but ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches, and yield your fruit to my people of Israel. But ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel, for they are at hand to come. For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown. A lot of times we're going through uh, 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 the judgment, we're going through the chastisement of the Most High. Okay? Please. Please, please, uh, 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 don't be a sucker for punishment. No, I'm just a sucker for pain. Stop singing that, all right? Stop living that, all right? Stop being that, okay? Obedience is better than sacrifice, okay? It is very important for we of Israel to understand that we of Israel ain't the only ones of Israel in this country. Okay, we of Israel ain't the only ones of Israel. How many out there watching this can judge somebody hot? Huh? I mean, I know from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. But can you actually look at somebody hot and say, oh, yeah, this is a righteous heart or this is an unrighteous heart? All right. There are more of Israel to come that some of you all couldn't even fathom or dream that they are part of Israel because you got caught up in 
listening to men, the abominations of the ancients of the house of Israel. Remember Ezekiel chapter 8 from Sabbath, all right? It's very important that we remember these lessons, all right? So that way we can understand them and begin to apply them to our lives so that when something happens, it don't look to us, we don't look strange and we don't look pitiful. We don't look forsaken. We don't look stricken when we see these things happening. We already forewarned, okay? We already are forewarned, all right? That we're going to face trial and tribulation in this sixth month. We're already forewarned. Nehemiah chapter 6 and Ezekiel 8. If that wasn't enough warning for you, I don't know what is. I know I don't want to get caught up doing none of those abominable things that the Most High called abominable. Those abominations, I don't want to get caught up in that. Okay? I don't want to get caught up on the wrong side of righteousness. Okay? Some of you all say, well, well, you probably already caught up. You're a crook. You this, you that, you this, you that. All I'm going to tell you is this. You work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I'm going to work out my own. And at the end of the day, we'll see where the rubber meets the road. All right? You work yours out. I'm going to work mine out. All right? I'm not here to dictate to you and tell you, uh, 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 live this way, live that way and all that. As a watchman, I'm going to get your blood off my head. All right? I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do that with uh, uh, love. I'm going to do that with you can uh, 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 receive and understand where I'm coming from so that there's no inkling of a doubt, no shadow of doubt of your blood on my hands. I told you you was warm, okay? You did what you wanted to do until you couldn't do it no more. And that's all it come down to, all right? That's all it come down to. It goes on to say in verse 9, For behold, I am for you. And I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown, and I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it. And the city shall be inhabited, and the way shall be built. What this sound like? Huh? What this sound like? This sound like the same preparation we read about in Isaiah chapter 58, the fasting that pleases the most high. All right, restoration is here for us, but we got to want it. We got to seek it. We got to desire it. We got to hunger and thirst after it so that we can be filled. That simple, that plain. I don't have to switch this up for something slick. This sells itself, all right? Verse 11 says, and I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your old estates and will do better unto you than at your beginnings. And ye shall know that I am Yah. Verse 12. Yea, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people Israel, and they shall possess thee, and thou shalt be their inheritance, and thou shalt no more henceforth bereave them of men. How you living? Huh? Quick question. How you living? Did you know that you somebody's inheritance? All right. A lot of times, a lot of uh, uh, the only Messiah some people going to see is the Messiah that you bring in you to the scene. All right. That's what that that happens. Hands down. No questions asked. A lot of the uh, people are only going to see the Messiah that you have in you. And, and that's that's without no question. All right. You can sit here. And act like you don't have no duty, no responsibility. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. I don't have to say this. I don't have to say that. Well, it's something totally different going on right now for you, okay? The Most High is going to deal with it. He's going to deal with all of them that that uh, 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 the heathen and, 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 and take that shame of the heathen off of you and put it back on the heathen, all right? But a lot of you all... Don't want to let go of the oppressor, the heathen's ways. And this is where the Most High looks at things as if, uh, 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 whoa, what's wrong with this child of mine? Uh, this, this, this child of mine don't, um, actually don't, don't want me. He want to keep with the heathen and the heathenistic ways and keep with this way and that way and Christmas and 
keep calling me outside of my name. That ain't my child. That child's a bastard. All his sheep know his voice. How many of you all out there know your earthly father name within Israel or your earthly mother name? You know one of your parents' names, huh? So why you call and create the most high and treat him as if he a bastard? Please don't shake that. It is very important that we understand that as we put things together in our lives, as we begin to walk according to his election and his purpose, our walk is totally different, okay? Here it is. Verse 12 said, yeah, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people Israel, and they shall possess thee, and thou shalt be their inheritance, and thou shalt no more henceforth bereave them of men. Thus says Yah Elohim, because they say unto you, thy land devours up men and has bereaved thy nations. Here go the charges against us, all right? Our land devours up men. We bereave nations. Therefore thou shalt devour men no more, neither shall bereave thy nations anymore, says Yah Elohim. Ezekiel 36, 14. All right. Verse 15 says, Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen anymore. This our third charge in verse 15. Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen anymore. Neither shall thou bear the reproach of the people anymore. That's our fourth charge. All right. We bear the reproach of the people anymore. Neither shall thou cause neither shall thou cause thy nations to fall anymore, says Yah Elohim. Within Israel, and y'all keep wondering why I keep talking to Israel. The most high is talking to Israel, talking to Ezekiel about Israel, and keep talking to Ezekiel about Israel, about others of Israel who are yet to come. All right. But then here we got these five charges. Neither shall thou cause thy nations to fall anymore. Look at all the shenanigans within HOI. Now I ain't talking about a camp. I ain't talking about assembly. I'm talking about the whole house of Israel. All right? I ain't talking about northern kingdom, southern kingdom. Yeah, I ain't even chopping that up. I'm talking about we as Israel as a whole. Okay? There are things going on within Israel causing our nation to fall, causing other nations to stumble because they watching us. How can, how can uh, 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 those who steal here in the land of the thief and home of the slave, United Snakes of America, how can those watch us as an example of what they steal in the past and nowadays can't don't watch us long enough to want to steal anything? Because we got so far away from the Most High and His Ruach, all right? It's very important that we get our minds right. Okay, neither shall thou cause thy nations to fall anymore. A lot of people are causing the nation of Israel to fall. I was reading some shenanigan today about somebody telling me happy Shabbat. Um, telling somebody, nah, they just posted it, happy Shabbat. And somebody jumped out there and jumped on them. What do you mean, Shabbat? Today is only the fourth day. Uh I go by uh, 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 the, the the fourth day Shabbat. The seventh day is the fourth day. And that person couldn't even explain themselves in the shenanigans that they believe. There are many of Israel causing Israel to fall. All right? I'm going to say it again. There are many in Israel, later for the white man, later for the devil, later for the Ashkenazi and the European so-called Yahudin and all of them, no, nah, I'm talking about Israel. I'm talking about brown people with brown noses and brown lips that are causing other brown people with brown noses and brown lips to fall, all right? The Most High say he's going to uh, remove the shame of the heathen and take these things up out of us, away from us, because he's going to have mercy upon us. Remember today's song, all right? We read it earlier. I told you I like today's song because verse Verse 2 says at the end, well, verse 2 said, Behold, as the eyes of Ebeds look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon Yah our Elohim, 
until that he have mercy upon us. Verse 3 and 123. Have mercy upon us, O Yah. Have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with content. If that ain't a, 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 a cry for repentance, if that ain't a prayer a, 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 a calling out to the Most High to have mercy, I don't know what is, okay? We as Israel, we need to repent, okay? And I'm saying this in love. Um, Some of you leaders out there, go ahead and tell the people that, you know, uh, um, the translation of whatever, whatever, whatever you was reading, uh, 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 you found out to be wrong and all of this, you getting back to the Bible. That's your way out. <laughs> if I had to... <laughs> If I had to backpedal on something, <laughs> believe me, believe me, I'm the fixer. I know how to fix these kind of things, all right? There's always a way out, but don't be too proudful. What the um, what the Proverbs say, huh? Proverb 3, we read it today, 31 and 32. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, for the froward is abomination to Yah, but his secret is with the righteous. The righteous thing anybody could do is say, I messed up. Father, forgive me. Have mercy upon me. I've sinned. Have mercy upon me. I've sinned. That's the most righteous thing anybody could do. Okay? Thou shalt cause thy nations to fall. Thou Neither shall thou cause thy nations to fall anymore, says Yah. Verse 15 in Ezekiel 36 is one of them things. Some of you are teaching the doctrine for devils as the word of the Most High. The word of the Most High, we read it today, okay? Exodus chapter 20, okay? The word of the Most High. And it's very important that we apply that word unto our lives. I mean, a lot of people are saying and doing and running and screaming, yelling, kicking, and uh, 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 trying to tell you to wear this, wear that, and all this. The outside look good, but how's your heart? If your heart isn't in it, why wouldn't you tell him so? That's what he's going to do. He's going to be getting at you. <laughs> or he's going to be singing that Janet Jackson. What have you done for me lately? <laughs> Y'all keep thinking it's a game and a joke. It's not a game. It's not a joke. We got to repent, Israel. We got to repent. Please, we got to repent. If you don't know a repentant uh, prayer, read uh, uh, Psalm 123, verse 3. We just read it. All right? Our hearts is uh, filled with exceeding contempt. Okay? I have sinned. I have sinned. Have mercy upon me. I have sinned. A lot of times, we as his children, the sheep of his pasture, don't take time out and repent. We need to. Okay, in this uh, 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 month, Ira, Ira, man, I'm going to tell you about this dude, Ira, Ira, woo-wee, this one in the months, I'm telling you, that wakefulness, okay, wakefulness, you're going to wake up, all right, and you're going to search, all right, keep searching the scriptures, as we continue to read here in Ezekiel 36, verse 16, moreover, the word of Yah came unto me, saying, son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, uh-oh, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. This is the what? The sixth charge. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. Wherefore, I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land. In verse 18, that's the seventh charge. And for their idols wherewith they polluted. Here go the eighth charge. All right, we got eight charges. We heard the controversy at the beginning. Verses one through what? One through five, one through six. Most high talking about restoration, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that for you, and I'm going I'm to do this, and I'm going to do that. But here go the charges. This is what happened. If there ever had been a, a charge paper that I've seen, I've seen a lot of charge papers. I've seen more charge papers than more lawyers, okay? I've seen a lot of charge papers. Not just mine, not just family, not just those who the most I allowed me to go to court for, 
but charge papers of those who actually was innocent, did nothing, okay? But these charges right here seem to be fitting Israel in this day and time. I can't speak for them by then, back then, but since these words are almost in red, all of them, uh, in some versions, yeah, I can tell you that the most I got charges on somebody, all right? He said, for their idols wherewith they have polluted it. All right, let's go back to 18. Wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they have polluted it. Now, let's go back to 17. Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, when they dwelt in their own land, I remember reading a precept up there about letting the land rest, okay? Letting the land rest. And I ain't talking about every seven years switching the crops and all of that. All right? I'm talking about a charge where the most I said since uh, 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 y'all don't want to let the land rest when I told you to let it rest on the seventh day. I'm going to get you out of the land and the land's going to enjoy my Sabbaths. Look that one up. I ain't going to give you anything. Look that one up. All right? It's very important. Where's his children got to take time and literally apply the simpleness or the simplicity of, 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 of the commandments? I mean, you got some that are still arguing on Facebook, the commandments are done away with. Revelation 12, Revelation 14, Revelation 22. Anybody that swing over this way with us, Shema o Israel, we already know the commandments ain't done away with. Some of you been new before you got here. The commandments wasn't done away with. Just didn't know how to explain it. All right? But here it is. It's easy. Revelation 12, Revelation 14, and Revelation uh, chapter uh, 22. Okay? Revelation chapter 12, Revelation chapter 14, and Revelation chapter 22. Make sure you're trying to live this to the best of your ability, okay? To the best of your ability, all right? Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word, all right? And that word is a uh, two-edged sword and all of that. So uh, make sure you apply it and rightly divide the word of truth accordingly, okay? It goes on to say in verse uh, 18, Wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land, and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. I scattered them among the heathen. This is how you picked up the ways of the heathen, okay? The Most High scattered us among the heathen, and we were dispersed through the countries, all right? According to their way and according to their doings, I judged them, okay? That's 11 charges against us. Verse 20. And when they entered unto the heathen, whither they went, they profaned my holy name when they said to them, these are the people of Yah and are gone forth out of his land. They profaned my holy name. How many times are we going to profane his holy name? A lot of you will, Israel, stand. You you are uh, constantly speaking and preaching to people and, and constantly speaking and preaching to people in a profane name trying to say that you're moving under the unction of the Ruah and giving people a profane name. Stop with the profane name. It's very important that you stop with this. It's very important. Let's quickly turn over to Psalm 68 verse 4. Because I'm going to clear the air. I'm going to clear the air. Psalm 68, verse 4. Some of you will be uh, talking to people at work. Some of you will talk to people uh, as you passing through. Some of you will talk to people uh, in your community, etc. Your family members and loved ones. Here is his name. Psalm 68, verse 4. Here is his name. Sing unto Elohim 
sing praises to his name. Extol him that rides upon the heavens by his name, Yah, and rejoice before him. Some of you all are going to meet people, and people are going to ask you, and uh, 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 what is his name? What is the, the name of the God you serve? You take them to Psalm 68, verse 4, because this is what's easily proven in Scripture. Y-A-H. Ain't none of that profaning his holy name in the midst of the heathen anymore. All right? These things has got to stop. All right? Verse 20. It said, when they entered into the heathen, where they went, they profaned my holy name when they said to them, these are the people of Yah and are going forth out of his land. Look at 21. But I had pity for my holy name. Some of you all keep running around here with all these broken down man-made derivatives of his name that you can't even prove up. You can't factor. You don't even know how to take the Olivet that we read on Shabbat, Psalm 119, and begin to make that into his name. You can't even begin to write that. Stop. Close your mouth. Close your mouth, please. Don't try to be so deep and spooky and way out there. Call the Father Yah or the Most High, okay? Uh, call him the Heavenly Father, the Great I Am. That's what he told Moshe his name was. And here the psalmist telling you what his name is, and you still want to go after your own way. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his way. You can't keep doing this, Israel, because what's happening here is this. You're not raising up that people of Israel we read about right here in 36 verse, uh, verse 8. But ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel, for they are at hand to come. But ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel, for they are at hand to come. There are people that are, many of us, don't know who they are, all right? We don't know their hearts, all right? We can only assume by the way they may speak or dress, but they, they might be coordinating in a Bible. It might be, uh, 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 what was his name? Uh, 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 Yehudim Iscariot. Hmm? Who are you talking about? Who you living? Uh, who you living for? Okay? You got to always be on point with these things. Moses I said, I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel have profaned among the heathen wherever they went. <laughs> wherever they went. They profaned his name. How you going to keep profaning the name of the Most High? These are some serious charges. We had 11 charges right now in verse 19. All right? When they entered into the heathen, whither they went, they profaned my holy name. That's 12. When they said to them, these are the people of Yah and are going forth out of his land. 21 says, but I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, wherever they went. All right, this 13 and 21. 22 says, therefore say unto the house of Israel, house of Israel, thus says Yah, thus says Yah, I do not this for your sake, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake. Here it is again, my holy name name sake. I mean, you all sung it in first day worship. There is something about that name. <laughs> you were singing it. Kings and kingdoms. <laughs> you were singing it. We all sung it. Shall all pass away, but there's something about it is something about that name y-a-h 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 it's something about that name 
We as his people need to get that name in us until we need him and he give us a new name. Uh-oh. He said he was going to even write it in our foreheads on some stones or something or in our hands or something, something, something. All right? We need to, we need to get this one name, Y-A-H, into us. The reason being, because at least scripturally, you can literally stand and, and tell the Most High with clean hands and a pure heart. I gave him what your word said, all right? I ain't know nothing about your <laughs> whatever that was, all right? I don't know nothing about that, all right? I mean, if you look at the, uh, find you an old Bible, all right? Find you an old Bible. This, this is the thing here. Find you an old Bible and look for the editor's, the translator's note in the front of the book, in the preface or the preface, however way you say that word. And it is going to tell you that the translators took out all the sacred names and replaced them with capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, capital G, capital O, capital D. All right? They, they, they took out all the sacred names and replaced them with that. Now, when it comes to that back of the book, I do not know. All right? For the life of me. How do they get G-E-E-Z-U-S from Isseus? Because in the Greek, that's what it broke down to, Isseus. I S. O-U-S or something. And, and I don't know how they got that J-E-S-U-S. -S. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Who got that? Why they put it there or nothing. I don't know. But that ain't definitely ain't his name. Because when you start, again, start looking at Isis. Isis to send you back to the front to Yehoshua. Okay? Son of none. Talking about Joshua. All right? It is something, some little things we can do to prevent us from being sifted like wheat and ended up with false twisted doctrines, ended up ending up following the, the captain for the 13th and the 14th month, all right? There's little things we can do to prevent those things from happening, all right? It goes on to show us right here in 23, 22. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, house of Israel, that says y'all, that says y'all, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. 23. I will sanctify my great name. <laughs> Here we go. He's still on his name. I will sanctify my great name, Y-A-H, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. Uh-oh. And the heathen shall know that I am Yah, says Yah, when I shall be sanctified in you before the eyes. A lot of you all are scared to sanctify the Most High uh, 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 before the people and before their eyes. A lot of you know why. Why are you scared of them? Why are you still teaching in bed? All right, matter of fact, let's go over to, um, give me Hebrews chapter 2. We're going to go there right quick. Let me show you something. Show me something right quick. All right. I'm going to read to you. Um, I'm going to read to you 1 through 10. Hosea chapter 2, 1 through 10. Yeah, Hosea. Hosea, excuse me. What did I say, Hebrew? Oh, Hosea chapter 2. <laughs> Verse 1, it says, Say ye unto your brethren, Ami, and to your sisters, Ruhama, plead with your mother, plead, for she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredoms out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. Lest I strip her naked and set her as in the day that she was born and make her as a wilderness and set her like a dry land, and slay her with thirst. And I will not have mercy upon her children, for they be the children of whoredoms. For their mother had played the hard lot, she that conceived them have done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers that give me my bread, and my water, my wool, and my flax, my oil, and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up thy way with thorns, and make a wall, 
that she shall not find her paths. That means she's cut off, all right? Verse 7, and she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them. And she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then was it better with me than now. Verse 8, for she did not know that I, the Most High, gave her corn, wine, oil, multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. Now you look up what Baal means. It means L-O-R-D. Keep playing. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Therefore will I return and take away my corn in the time thereof, my wine in the season thereof, and will recover my wool, my flax given to cover her nakedness, and now will I discover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and none shall deliver her out of my hand. I will also, will also cause all her mirth to cease, her feast days, her new moons, her Sabbaths, and her solemn feasts, and I will destroy her vine and her fig trees, where she have said, these are my rewards that my lovers have given me, and I will make them a force in the beasts of the field she'll eat them. And I will visit upon her the days of Baalim, where she burned incense to them, and she decked herself with her earrings, her jewels, and went after her lovers and forgot me, says Yah. Keep playing, all right? That well, you wonder why some of you all in y'all assemblies and y'all camps can't count 12 months, can't count 12 new moons, can't count, can't read the scripture. Because the most high left your leadership over the bail since they want to keep preaching and teaching in bail. Keep running your mouth. <laughs> this is one of them things that for the longest kind of time, a lot of you all always wondered. Well, why the leader, why everybody else saying something else? Why is people constantly saying something else? How come my camp never got the same dates that the other camps got? How come this place of worship never got the same place, um, dates and places of worship, uh, uh, times and seasons and all of that like everybody else? Because y'all caught up in Baal worship. He said, which they prepared for Baal. You keep preparing that Shabbat. You keep preparing them, them new moon services, them uh, uh, solemn feast days, them holy days. Keep preparing them for um, bail if you want. And you'll still be off the mark down here in the 13th, 14th month, waiting for the 13th, 14th captain. Kind of find out you the captain and bishop of your own soul. You know, not the most high. All right? I, I'm only giving you all what's written here. From Ezekiel chapter 8, from Isaiah 59, Isaiah 59, Ezekiel chapter 8, um, Ezekiel 36. Now we're in Hosea chapter 2. And, and we see seeing where, where the Most High said he, he did all of this. I gave you everything that I gave you, but you prepared it for Baal. You said later for me, you just took what I gave you and just cast pearl amongst the swine. And then you want me to constantly be okay with it? What is wrong with y'all? Huh? <laughs> <That's, laughs> y'all better be glad I ain't the most I, I'm trying to tell you something. Seriously. Because uh, 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 I tell people all the time, if we if we had to think of the most high's mentality as if uh, 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 something in Hollywood, shoot. I like uh, uh, Denzel in uh, uh, American Gangster when he was pulling up Cuba Gooding talking about copyright infringement and all it is. You know, you could have made more money off of it uh, 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 the way I gave to you. But now nah, you want to chop it up, mix it up, switch it up, and, and put your own thing on it, and then call it mine? Nah. Where's his children and sheep and his pastor? We got to acknowledge. Let's go back to today's first one. That way I don't seem like I'm on a tangent rant. Unto thee will I lift up my eyes, O that dwells in the heavens. Who are we serving? Who are we praising? Who are we trying to literally live for? This is what we got to ask ourselves. The Most High has blessed us. But every time we, he give us a blessing, 
We take good seed and put it in a bad ground and expect something beautiful to happen. It ain't happening like that, people. The most high right here in Ezekiel 36 is, is like looking at Israel like, what is wrong? <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? And then, you know, all you are Israel, the mountains of Israel, you all, you big mighty people and all this and all that, you know, they got sustenance. Yeah, you're going to get that to my people of Israel that are yet to come. All right? But you can't keep serving two masters. One minute you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm in this truth and all this. Next thing you know it. And Baal said, come unto me, all ye that labor. Nah. <laughs> you can't give the most high glory to another. You can't keep doing that. You can't, because the most I gonna have a, a real serious problem with it. You already got a controversy with it, with Israel. All right. 21, he said, but I had pity for my holy name over in Ezekiel 36. I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, house of Israel, thus says Yah, thus says Yah. I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, Yah, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am Yah, says Yah Elohim, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. Stop, stop with the paganists. All right, if you in truth, you in truth. If you ain't in truth, stay out of truth. All right, you ain't no middle ground here. It goes on to say in verse 24, for I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. All right, the most high still going to gather us. All right, even before he, he, he sent Messiah to gather everybody, the most high is still going to gather us. All right. We as a people got to be prepared for it. Be prepared to move according to his election and purpose. All right? And not what man say, but what his Ruach says. It goes on in 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. If you go over and take a look at um, uh, 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 the commandments, the commandments already had us separated, whereas he ain't had to strip us from nothing. But we as people doing what we do best, just did the only thing, uh, 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 did the only thing that we could know, we, we know to do best. And most of us linked on our own understanding and took something easy and switched it up and made it into something slick for something for uh, something like filthy lucre's sake, all right? Goes on to say, a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep my judgments and do them, all right? 25, that begins the first immersion. If you want to talk about uh, 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 renewing of the water and all of that, eh. he said, then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean. What Romans 6 say? I'm going to read you a portion of Romans 6. All right? And some of you all might be praying about immersion. Get at me. All right, if you need help getting down in the water, get at me. If you're talking to people about immersion, if they don't bring this up into scripture when they're talking about immersion, Romans chapter 6, then uh, 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 you need to question some things. It says, Romans 6 verse 1, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Y'all forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein know ye not that so many of us as were immersed into messiah were immersed into his death therefore we are buried with him by immersion into death 
that like as Messiah was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For we have been planted together in the likeness of his death. We shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is impaled with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now, if we be dead with Messiah, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Messiah being raised from the dead dies no more, death have no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he lives, he lives unto Yah. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto Yah through Messiah. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto Yah as those that are alive from death from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto Yah. For sin shall not have dominion over you, but ye are not under the law, but under grace. But what then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Yah forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves ebeds to obey, his ebeds ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But Yah be thanked, thanked that ye were the ebeds of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the ebeds of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members ebeds to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members ebeds to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the ebeds of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death, but now being made free from sin and become ebeds to Yah, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yah is eternal life through Messiah HaMashiach, all right? It's very important that we as his children understand this. Oh, and keep reading. Romans is one of them books that you could sit down for an hour, 10, hour, 20 minutes and read the whole thing and might have a question or two, all right? I know some of you all may be saying, well, Paul just said we ain't under under uh, 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 the law, we under grace. Let's go over to verse 7. Uh, 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 verse 12, right? Just, just to, to show you why you should keep reading. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good, all right? <laughs> I don't want to leave nobody hanging out there, all right? All right, is everybody getting the gist of what is going on here? We got to leave the abominations alone and let the Most High immerse us with new water, clean water, living water, so that we're able to live. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns, or anybody got a song, a praise, or worship, or anything at this juncture? Hallelujah. We're going to pray. And then you can turn the air. <laughs> I ain't want to freeze up. Father, Yah, as we kneel before your throne of mercy and grace, Father, we ask, Father, that you would just have mercy upon us all. Many of us all have profaned your holy name, Father, in one way or another in front of the heathen. We born the ways of the heathen. We took on the ways of the heathen, shameful ways, Father. We ask for mercy right now and ask for forgiveness. We ask, Father, that you would receive our repentance, Father. 
we're, we're, we're very, very, very wrong, Father, in many different ways and many different things that we said and did against your Ruach, Father. We ask that you will forgive us this day, Father. Heal our wounded, broken spirits and pour that balm of Gilead in us and fill us afresh with thy Ruach so that we can go forward, Father, on a straight and narrow path, Father, sharing your good name, Father, your holy name, your great name, Father. We ask right now, Father, that you would be with each and every one that joined us. You bless them, guide them, and keep them until we meet again on Shabbat day. Seal this word into them, Father, and those who seek immersion, baptism, Father. Allow them, Father, to contemplate it in their heart. And if they need help getting in a water, allow them to call your event, me. If they got somebody else they can call, allow them to call them. But either way, Father, the end result is burying that old man down in that water like Messiah was buried in the earth. We ask this this day in your Sunday we pray. Hallelujah. You all be blessed. You all be safe. And I'm going to tell you something. The signal here on um, Facebook has been going in and out, in and out, in and out the whole time. You might want to get with us on free conference, okay? That way it's uninterrupted. It's a recording on free conference if you want to join us there as well. Shalom and you all have a blessed evening.